What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter, and things are getting absolutely bananas. You know, the party that just really, really looks after women, they want the best for women, uh, they, they want women to have uh, access to all the things that women need, and hey, so do I. In fact, I would even support, you know, making certain things available to them, you know, more affordable, just like anybody, to be honest with you. But now that very same party's economic policies have literally started to shrink their, how do I say this expertly for you to, their, their, tam, their tampoons. They're actually making them smaller because of inflation. Women are literally getting gaslit into thinking they're having heavier flow or that their bodies are changing because the companies have shrunk the products that they've made for them for this exact reason. Of course, blaming inflation. It's one thing when they make the Big Mac a little bit smaller and you kind of notice it, right? You're kind of like, oh, it's probably better that the Big Mac's a little bit smaller, less calories. Um, although it should be cheaper if it's going to be smaller. But now we're talking about making... Uh, these women's uh, sanitary items smaller. This on top of a new report about Chipotle. These two things don't really seem like they relate, but they absolutely do. Tampons are the latest to suffer shrinkflation. Women allege as makers say, no way. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and trust the women that say this. But yeah, period, end of sentence. Uh, tampons are shrinking as manufacturers seek to pad profits. A growing number of users are arguing, saying that they feel strung along. Ah, oh, come on, man. Let's not with the puns. All right, a woman wrote it, I guess. <laughs> like, ah, oh, enough of the period puns. As an expert insists, there's been no change at all. In recent months, women old enough to know which type of products to use have been sharing that they've been uh, going through them a lot faster than usual. Now, <laughs> I don't know if it has anything to do with any other you know, choices they've made medically. I don't know. But uh, this is seemingly widespread enough that it's a good cross-section of females out there. Some have been seeking out health care providers, wondering if it's them or the product which they suspect has now been downsized. Well, prices have stayed exactly the same. It's, of course, called shrinkflation, a term we're all familiar with, an issue that has impacted scores of consumer products as stubborn inflation plagues the global economy. I thought it was just me to the point where I brought it up to my doctor. Like, is there something wrong? The 35-year-old asked, is she going through body changes until she saw other women complaining of the exact same issue online? Now, I already hear you typing in the comments. I don't know if they got it or not. I don't know. I'm not alleging that they did. I'm not saying anything. Uh, I'm just saying if, if shrinkflation, okay, let's just bring it back. It affects literally everything from Chipotle to TP to cookies to whatever. I'm sure it's affecting this. 35-year-old question if they're going through. It's so insidious but not surprising that these companies would just make their products smaller to make us spend more money. The rumors uh, that they've gotten smaller have continued to swirl online with women sharing their anecdotal evidence. I thought things were changing for me, getting heavier, which was weird because I'm on the pill, so I'm, pretty, I'm usually pretty light, Morgan Sullivan told Glamour. But then she saw so many other girls posting about it on social, I'm like, oh, that's it. However, companies, specifically Tampax, which have been, been called up by name in several viral videos, have denied that their products have changed. They are regulated by the United States Food and Drug Administration and adhere to industry absorbency or size ranges as listed, as listed on the size of the package, a, a package, a spokesperson said. The FD absorbency ranges have not changed since its introduction 30 years ago. Well, apparently, they've also said that they rigorously, rigorously test their products, ensuring that they meet the consumer standards, but the most important test is whatever you buy and this and the other thing. Um, you know, hey, maybe it is something else. Maybe it is something else. Um, but, I mean, 
I'm pretty sure that all these women getting together saying, yo, what's going on here? I'm needing more of these products than I ever had before. I mean, look at this. This tweet has 160,000 likes from two weeks ago. It says, y'all, they say and they shrunk the tampons and pads without telling anyone. So many people think that their bodies have changed because they're running out of their products when it's really just companies being greedy. I hate it here. 170,000 likes. I mean, I would be willing to absolutely bet that this is true. You know what I mean? Like, I would be willing to bet absolutely it's true. Because we can look at this story. Are your fast food meals getting smaller? Wall Street analysts who ordered the same takeout 75 times reveals his shock findings. A Wall Street analyst has decided to end the debate on whether or not food portions are getting smaller once for all. Wells Fargo analysts Zachary Fadim and his team recently set out to test the theory that Chipotle has been skimping on its usually large portions after a series of videos posted to TikTok showing employees barely filling their burrito bowls. The team ordered and weighed 75 bowls from eight locations across New York City and kept variables the same by ordering the exact same ingredients, white rice, black beans, chicken, pico de gallo, cheese, and lettuce. When they ultimately returned to the office, they discovered that consistency in the burrito bowls varied widely from restaurant to restaurant. Some locations serve bowls that weighed up to 33% more than others, the study found. The largest burrito bowl the team ordered came out at 27 ounces, while the smallest was just 14, half. Among all 75 burrito bowls, which were divvied out to Wells Fargo analyst lunches, the median weight was 21.5 ounces. Fadim's study came after months of TikTokers claiming, claiming Chipotle workers were skimping on ingredients. Well, of course they are. What's wild is, what's wild about this is, so I used to work in a pizza place, and they were, and they weren't even a chain, okay, but they were so tight on like cheese and dough balls and our ingredients. We had to measure everything. Every, every, every pizza had exactly the most bare minimum amount of cheese it could possibly get to get decent coverage. The dough, all this stuff, if you weren't, if you weren't flattening the dough enough, you were getting yelled at. Our bot, there was a boss sitting over your shoulder all the time making sure that you weren't, because cheese was the most expensive ingredient in pizza back then. I think it probably is still right now. You see this article, Nationwide's fast food chain now challenges McDonald's with epic value meal that may be even better priced. Sonic is in the latest fast food giant to give you a launch, a value meal, sorry. Sonic's new $1.99 menu launched on Friday, offering burgers, wraps, hot dogs, tots, and desserts, and shakes that price at that price indefinitely. It comes after McDonald's and Burger Kings and Wendy's rolled out $5 four-item meal deals and Taco Bell a $7 combo. Now more than ever, consumers are focused on affordable food options, but they shouldn't have to settle for the same old tired discounts or boring meals said Sonic chef, chief marketing officer Ryan Dickerson. Many restaurant brands are touting value meals and discounts, and you see a lot of recycled ideas with limited options. At Sonic, we want to do something different, something fun. So we're focused on variety, which is why we're introducing our new $1.99 menu, or what we like to call the Fun 99 menu. Ooh, that does sound fun. $1.99 menu includes a quarter pound double cheeseburger. Dang, that's a good deal. A quarter pounder at McDonald's is like six bucks. Chili cheese coney, never had one of those. Bacon ranch queso wrap, Southwest crunch queso wrap, small tots, any of the 12 flavors of shakes at a 16 ounce. So any shake for 16 ounce for two bucks? That's an incredible deal. I've never, I think the only time I ever ate at Sonic was when I was on a road trip and it was kind of in the middle of nowhere and it did not go well for me. Sonic Drive-In, a subsidiary of the Atlanta-based Inspire Brands, has more than 3,500 locations. And McDonald's customers get the four items for five bucks, a McDouble, McChicken, sandwich, fries, soft drink, small soft drink, which is barely a sip. Burger King's $5 meal is almost identical to McDonald's and lasts all summer. Customers get a choice of one out of three sandwiches, a Whopper Junior, a Bacon Cheeseburger, or Chicken Junior Plus, or Chicken Junior Plus four chicken nuggets, fries, and a soft drink. I actually think that that's a, fa a fair deal, five bucks, you know? I really do. Starbucks also made a surprise entry into the value war with coffee and food breakfast combo for five bucks. 
as well as offering deals. Fast food chains are battling each other with app specific deals. That's what the end of this is. That's what the natural end game of all this is, by the way. Uh, the Everyone's going to have to have 100,000 apps on their phone and you're going to be getting push notifications constantly. Like if you've ever used Uber Eats, that at like right around meal times, constantly it sends push notifications. Do yourself a favor and just press and hold on that notification and disable all notifications. There's no reason you need to get notifications from all your apps. You should be disabling that by default. Um, I've been real mindful of my cell phone usage lately, screen time usage, because obviously the nature of what I do for a living, I'm staring at a screen a lot. And I do feel much better. And I actually chart it using an app. And I feel better every week when I reduce my screen time. Like try to reduce it to the bare minimum, which is my two hour live stream. Okay. Another two hours to film um, uh, all my standalone videos for the day and at most one hour of TV. And if on the weekends I can watch movies if I want or whatever, cause I'm not doing two hour live streams. It's, anyway, I picked up, the, I picked that number arbitrarily and I have not even gotten close to it yet, but I am lowering my numbers each week. Upflation drives U.S. shoppers to pay more for quote premium products. You see this even first timer, our first came tinier tins, downsized detergents, and slim down snacks for less bang for your buck trend known as shrinkflation. Now companies are seeking to guard revenue and clawback sales are confronting consumers with a fresh tactic, upflation. The formula is, of course, create new appliances for applications for products, especially those hit by declining sales, and then jack up the price. Some examples include a so-called whole body deodorant selling for $14 a, uh, a stick or razors specifically for, quote, tricky areas with a $5 markup on a regular shaver. Companies insist they're solving real problems, but nobody's actually convinced. This is every, everybody's just trying to screw you. That's that's how this 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 works out, and um, until you know, people are just going to have to get more um, more careful about it. And by the way, that's why I recommend. Have you ever used uh, the Veebs app before? I want to mention that uh, I have a free trial code that's four 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 four, and you get a free trial. It's only a buck a month anyway, but I use this all the time to scan items. I get the premium version, so you get a UPC scanner, value-based scores to know if you're paying, you know, buying from a company that doesn't hate you. You can create shopping lists. You can look for brand substitutions, store-specific filters. Uh, the app's getting really, really good. I don't know if, you, uh, if I mentioned that before, but use your phone, your mobile phone, get Veeps, um, promo code 44. Uh, when it asks you to confirm your number or whatever, it sends you a text and it's like, confirm your number. Just put 4444 four, four, four and it's free for two months. Try the app. I think you're really going to like it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you have a like on it. We'll talk to you again real soon.